I am about to make two runs. I want to go to the post office and then I also want to stop by Target. So I was talking to one of my aunts on the phone the other day and I was telling her that sometimes I have garments that I don't wear very often and maybe I can send them to her. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, I don't know if you remember the dress that I wore when I went out hiking. It's just a simple little sweatshirt type dress and I modified it because it was a little too long. So I cut the bottom off and shortened him. I have a video, so maybe I'll um, link that so you can see it. But this is a... Um, knit dress i don't wear it very often i do like it but i also have two other ones and when i was thinking about her and something that i can send to her i was like i could send this to her because i don't wear it very much and maybe she will wear it more than i do and if she thinks it's too short for her she can always wear something under it maybe a pair of pants or something or maybe she could sleep in it or whatever and if she doesn't like it you know maybe she can give it away or do whatever she wants but anyway i was like this would be a good idea i can just send this to her now i grabbed this right out of the washing machine so it is wrinkled but i'm going to fold this up oh i just forgot that i wanted to put a note in there and i don't have any paper to write a note on actually i might let me see oh i do i do i do okay so i have this little notepad so i'll just write a little note to her oh but then i need something to like a pen or something to stick the note onto hmm well i don't know i'll figure it out but i don't want her to miss the note and not see that it's in here you know it would be nice if i had a safety pin to, to kind of tape it to the front of the the garment I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'm sitting not too far from the house. So maybe I could just run back home and grab something. But but anyway, I am going to take you with me as much as I can. And maybe even when I'm in Target. Oh, let me tell you what I want to get from Target. So for Target, I want to look for a bustier. Because sometimes I make garments where the back is low or the back is out. And then I don't have the proper undergarment. I do have one bustier, but it's lace. And I find sometimes that the lace will show through, the print of the lace will show through the garment. So I was like, okay, I actually need a bustier that's smooth. So I wanna go look for that. And then another thing is I was making cookies, shortbread cookies, and I was taking the dough and you know running it around my hands and I got some of the dough in my ring. So I was like, okay, cool no problem i'll just go get my jewelry cleaner well when i went upstairs to get the jewelry cleaner it spilled it was empty so i didn't realize the jewelry cleaner was the container had been tilted to the side and all of the cleaner had spilled out so i was like oh man so now i need some more jewelry Je why can i say that jewelry i don't even know if i said it right that time but i need some more ju jewelry cleaner I need some more cleaner to clean my rings. There we go. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So let's go. I couldn't help it. I had to run back home and get a safety pin. So I already wrote the note before I got out of the car. So now I have my safety pin and I'm going to just pin this to the front. Ah. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go drop this in the mail. Okay, now for real, let's go. Okay, so I'm at Target, but you know what? I forgot to put my mask on when I was at the post office. I have it with me. I just need to wear it. So let me go ahead and put it on so I can go into Target. I'm trying to get used to all this wearing masks and everything. 
Okay. All right. So let's go. Bustiers, bras. Yeah. Um, after um, Gross Department, Cross Street is lingerie. You found everything, tools, different uh, bras, and everything. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I am on my way back home. I was able to get almost everything I wanted from Target. I did not find the undergarment that I was looking for, but that's okay. I'll just go ahead and order it online and just wait for it. I'm not really in a big rush. It was just something I thought I could pick up, but since I can't and the malls are still closed, I'll just order it online. So it's been a little bit of time since I recorded the previous clip that you saw. So I have some updates. Okay, so one is my aunt received her dress and she sent me a text message and she liked it and she said she couldn't wait to wear it. So that was exciting. The other update is that I did go online and I ordered my bustier and I did purchase it from Macy's. I did get it from Macy's and I got an email that it shipped already. So yes, I'm excited about that okay so now i want to share with you a sewing mate i wrote my notes down so i'm looking at them this is mccall's 8066 and i made you a which is the short skirt and i actually bought this pattern with view c in mind i really like view c so that was the one that made me purchase the pattern however I was in my sewing room and I was thumbing through my leftover fabric and I realized that I had enough scraps or leftover fabric to put together view A. So I was like, okay, I'll just give it a try. And it turns out that I really like the outcome. So I used this fabric, which is the same fabric that I made a skirt out of before, but I used this side, which is the supposed to be the inside and it's kind of, um, a little softer or shinier I should say and it has the little cotton feel on the inside but this time I used the outside and I made the skirt out of this quilted denim fabric so yes I am so excited to share this make with you now I did purchase this fabric from Joanne fabrics now some of the features in this pattern it's a really simple make but there is gathering in the front and the back top of the skirt. So there's a piece of elastic that you have to insert in the back waistband in order to kind of cinch in the waist in the back. So I did have to do that. There is some gathering that you have to place around the ruffle before you attach it to the bottom of the skirt. So that was it as far as the features. And the only change that I made was I had to tighten my elastic. So I had to shorten it a little bit because when I put it in the skirt and I tried it on, it was really loose and the skirt was kind of hanging down low. So I had to end up unpicking and just shorten the elastic a little bit. And what else? The only other thing was that as far as the leftover fabric for the ruffle, I just used denim. And it's a denim that I actually talked about and I showed in my previous video where I went to Joanne Fabrics and I was shopping around. So yes, I used that to go to the bottom on the bottom of the skirt and that fabric actually actually matched perfectly with this. So they go together really really well, so I like it. So this is kind of like a scrap buster project in a way because I did use leftover fabric, but it's not scrap buster in the sense that the fabrics look different you know because sometimes i use a pink and a blue and things like that this one is very cohesive and everything matches and it looks like it was meant to be together so yes i will go ahead and show you what this skirt looks like and what it looks like on So before I go, I want to share a love share. 
So something that I learned recently is if you are baking and you are running low on vanilla extract, you can actually use maple syrup as a substitute. Yes, so I thought that was so good to know because I love to bake and I do find myself running low on vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract pretty often. So yes, I can substitute maple syrup and so can you. All right, so that's it and that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.